Okay, hello. <coughs> this is uh, lesson uh, seven in uh, programming using uh, the language Objective uh, C on uh, Macintosh uh, operating system. And uh, in this lesson, we're going to talk about uh, functions. Uh, from uh, the last lesson, uh, lesson number six, we uh, remember that we used uh, mathematical functions. Okay, and you know, in mathematical functions, uh, you put some a number like uh, an input, something like uh, let's say uh, if I want to do uh, the just a minute, okay. If I want to do something like here, like uh, yeah, something like the square root. So I say like uh, the, uh, float z. Okay, equals uh, the SQRT of uh, x of some x like uh, two theta. Okay, this number. Okay, and I want to print z. Because I want to show you that every time you change the input here, which is what we call uh, the parameter with respect to our function, okay, every time I put something, I get a different z. So if I say like z here is a percent uh, dot to f, okay, just with the position here and just say here. Yeah, uh, Z and also I was add a slash n so I can separate the lines. Um, just for now, please forget. Just for this second, you know, just forget about those two lines. We're gonna explain them. So I'm gonna uh, going to run this. Okay. So every time now I get uh, uh, Z is 30, 39. For now, for example, if I change this, it will be something like yeah almost small but something like this 2000 something okay so you get a different number every time okay so that's the function you put a value you get a different value okay so uh, this is a function that should return a value okay uh, but our kinds of function that we're going to write might take a, uh, a number of uh, variables, okay? And uh, some of them uh, might not return something, but they are doing something, and they will be uh, they might be printing the data on the screen right away, okay? So now I can talk about the int double num. This is how I'm going to run uh, write my own uh, application, my my own uh, function that will uh, all the time uh, multiply uh, or return uh, for me the double of a number. Okay, for example, if I put two, it would give me uh, four. If I put three, it would give me six. So how do I do that? Now I just write right away here return and I put two times the k because this is my function input my function parameter which is uh, the k so every k any k I put the double num will return to uh, k and therefore I have defined a variable named pi my own pi well, it's not it's a uh, maybe man just put it like that something like this uh, so my my c Okay, and here is C, and this just for so this is C. Okay, so it will return some some value to C. What value? It's the value of the return here, and uh, in functions, uh, the end of execution, okay, is either the end of the function or when it sees. Uh, or it passes over the instruction return. So once it sees, uh, once it uh, has a return, 
okay the function will quit the function also will disengage from the memory okay and uh, it will be cleared from the memory so at any time the function will uh, will be called any other time the function function will be called it will be uh, re-return again to the memory okay and pushed into the memory that's how we say so now I'm gonna run it of course here instead of pi I must get the C okay so here yeah, save it and run it so this is C is 6 I change again and this is okay so 5 will give me 10 now it does not mean that I have to do it this way I can call double num without like this is my own double num right away this is double num and I can just like put 65 or let's say 50 get 100 so got it so it doesn't mean that I have to save it into a number that's what I meant some other var variable okay now we can do one uh, one other thing okay which is I can for example define my function to take a value okay of a string the string def is defined as such I just put a type a type of chart star and this is a string okay and also I can return it but I don't want to in this function all I want to do is that I'm te I want to tell the user that you are in uh, or you are you use uh, like you use this function using this string okay so I can do this print f and put a slash n here and by the way it should be in a string so and like this and this is my string string okay I'd rather use str because string can be confusing to the computer okay so so slash n and um, I type uh, this is this is your string and put like this and this is percent s because I want to print s the whole thing okay now what will happen is when I call double num every time I call double num this this uh, double num will take the number it will return that uh, the twice of the k however it will before returning the twice of the k it will be printing okay on a string let's add slash n also just for safety so every time it will call double num it will double the k return a double k but before the returning double k it will uh, print this string okay so this is a, a run of it okay there's something missing I've done oh yeah because here CE must take a string so my string will be the input uh, the parameter string okay so this is it okay got it so this way I'm passing also another, another string or another parameter and this parameter is not returning anything it's not doing anything okay it's just like printing things okay you might be sending some data which is and not really being returned okay that's what I meant to say and in this way you are even saving uh, heaps of code by calling a function 
okay heaps of write rewriting the same code if it's like you you wrote one a paragraph and you are referring to that paragraph okay with different parameters okay with different values okay it's like you're singing a song okay and uh, every time you sing a song like you're making have a happy birthday for uh, for example for John then for uh, Many them for uh, and every time you sing the same song for a different person. So this is uh, uh, how uh, functions uh, can save us uh, time. Okay. Now the next thing is I'm going to talk you to talk about how can a like how functions can call each other. Okay. You cannot call a function. Okay. Unless it was defined, of course, and the function. If for example double num want to call this one the other string print other thing so if I want to call this print other string okay um, <coughs> okay print other string please just for now uh, just for now okay just uh, skip this X thing I'm gonna explain because it's uh, within our lesson for now uh, for the system. However, just for now, understand that I'm gonna going to pass okay a string here into print other string, and I'm going to pass it from within double num. How? If I just uh, and now we have made uh, print f disabled, and I'm going to do is print other string and I'm going to send str this is how I'm going to send it okay because it's a it has a pointer here char star you saw it's, this is how uh, objective c works so uh, if you have a char star here okay uh, you want to pass the value in another char star okay just, just to mention the uh, name of the pointer okay it's str only so and that's it okay so in this way when I call double num double num will call the print other string okay which is written on the top of uh, double num you can't call uh, print other string if it is uh, written after double num okay because this means you're calling something that double num hasn't known about okay so I think this must be sequential in the, in the definition okay So I'm going to uh, run this. Okay. So this is print other string. So this is So this is the other string. So it went here. Okay. And printed the string uh, over here. Okay. Now, what's with the X here? Now. <coughs> This is about what we call uh, local variables and global variables. Now, if you notice with me, there is an x equals 200, okay, and it is somewhere outside of the functions, okay. And oh, by the way, I forgot this function does not the print uh, other other string does not return uh, any value. So because it does not have any return statement, okay, like this one. It will. It must be a void. Okay. This is how Objective C works. So when you want, don't want to return anything within a function, okay, use the value or the type, variable type void. Okay. Instead of integer or float or character or whatever. So, um. So and uh, when I have here, it's about now we're talking about again uh, local variables and global variables. So I have here a variable that's outside the uh, the functions, okay, which is called uh, capital X and it takes 200. And I have here another one called capital X and it takes 100. Now 
this one is currently as you saw it's, it's printing the 100 why because x is now a local variable here it does not mean it does, does mean that you should not be using uh, a global variable which is outside the functions okay if i just like say like this okay i can take the one that's from outside the functions now the global means that all the variables okay that are global can be accessible from within any function okay any time at any function okay of course they must be uh, declared before uh, the function in concern okay so and they are accessible anytime anywhere okay and I don't know sometimes I feel that this is uh, it's good to have but the problem with those var variables the global variables is that in the, in the function as I told you that when the function uh, quits uh, everything within it quits too okay and uh, they uh, they die with it okay so they leave the RAM and disengage the RAM and don't use the RAM at all so the uh, the disengagement from the RAM means that the, you are saving memory so therefore you're giving uh, the memory for other programs okay and therefore you might be that if your program gets so huge someday sometime you won't be uh, like swapping to the hard drive okay like copying your data to your hard drive and this way your, your software will be slow okay I know in such a program space it's very small but when you go to a uh, very huge programs okay you need to manage your uh, variables it's very important so um, when I run it without the this local variable okay this is a local and uh, this is a global okay so when I run it without the local variable okay so here's a save here's a run okay so now it uses the external one the global one okay external I mean it's out it's written outside of the functions okay so that's what's a global variable and that's what's a local variable okay Uh, it does not mean that it, it can be just only used within this function print other thing you can use it with any other function okay anytime anywhere okay I can print it also here like okay so I can print it also here uh, this is another percent I and this is capital X okay okay so this is the 200 here if I just return back the and make capital X equal to 100 okay so within the main with respect to main X is 200 but with respect to the prints other string it's two, it's 100 okay so this is how you try to differentiate between the what's a global what's local okay now going to talk about what's recursion okay so cell here okay so I'm going now to talk about what's recursion and here I'm going to say C okay as this is what I want to print and here I don't want this and I don't want this okay now and I'm going to save it now what's a recursion recursion is about like a calling uh, the function itself okay like when the function calls itself how uh, we have this function called factorial what's a factorial factorial is this as by definition this is a mathematical function okay like a uh, five factorial you put an explanation mark equals okay to 
uh, 1 times 2 times 3 times uh, 4 times 5 okay this is 5 factorial like 10 uh, 10 factorial or like say 9 factorial okay so I don't think it's just like multiples of 5 okay so it is like 1 time uh, times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 okay times 9 uh, 7 times 8 times 9 okay so that's the uh, factorial okay so it's just like the the uh, multiplication of numbers okay from uh, from 1 till the number that's going to concern before the explanation mark okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 here if you're talking about uh, factorial of 9 okay 10 you count till 10 and you multiply all those numbers between zero between 1 and 10 okay 100 same okay from 1 to 100 and multiply all the numbers between 1 and 100 so um, now every time you notice that I'm like uh, the 9 is it's uh, well, the factorial of 9 is the same as the factorial of 8 okay so I can just type it like this which is equals to 8 factorial times 9 cool and 8 factorial is also the, the 7 factorial times 8 times 9 okay so every time I can use the same function which is the factorial of the set of the previous number so this is how factorial uh, is defined okay when you like as I as we see here mouse is slow okay uh, so uh, every time I'm using the factorial of the previous number and, uh, and uh, multiplying it with the with that number okay as long as the number is not a zero okay when it's zero I consider it as one or maybe when I get it as one, I just return one. It's uh, that simple. Okay. So every time I'm just uh, substituting the value of factorial number one. So as long as it is greater than one, then I'm getting number one. Okay. And factorial of num minus one. Okay. Is num. It will be like this is equivalent to num times num minus 1 okay times factorial of num minus uh, 1 minus 1 okay which means it is minus 2 okay and therefore you should continue in that manner until what until factorial sees okay or has a number equals zero okay and therefore at that point factorial starts returning the uh, values okay so and therefore it will know by itself because you reach the point that you don't have to substitute okay there's no need for another substitution okay so reach that point so you've got the whole thing and therefore it, you have it in the round so every time it will keep returning keep returning keep returning okay so here's uh, the run of it Okay, so this is factorial of 30. Now I know it will be hard to understand that the, this is the true value of 30. So factorial of 3 should be 6. 
1 times 2 times 3 it should be 6 so this is 6 if I just like say till factorial 5 so 6 times 4 will be 24 times 5 will be um, uh, almost 125 okay yeah 120 correct so this is um, a factorial of a 5 so this is how a recursion works okay you are calling the same function again with a different parameter so you are repeating this, the usage of the same function all the time until uh, there's always like a kind of uh, like there's like a kind of steps you have to pass by okay and uh, there are repetitive st steps okay and there's also like uh, the endpoint so our endpoint here okay is this uh, term equals one okay so I hope uh, you enjoyed this lesson and uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, so you can get uh, updates and uh, uh, please uh, your comments is very they are very important to me and uh, thanks for watching okay goodbye